How's it going, everyone? Tim here, Tier Adventures. Hope everyone's all well there. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. Uh, been a little lack on some videos and stuff lately. Just been kind of just busy from work and wore out and been trying to get a few other things set up, working on getting a new computer set up and a couple new cameras. So you might actually for once finally see some actual quality videos other than stuff just done on my cell phone. But in the meantime, still stuck with that. Uh, so in the midst of getting all the cars ready for nationals, um, all the last minute, make sure everything's good. Any last minute fixes, any upgrades, testing. We had one last comp and we are done with that. Will be a video coming on that shortly. But in the meantime, um, I wanted to get another build kind of underway and going, mostly to have ready to rock and roll after nationals, because after that, um, all three trucks will kind of go down for a little bit, um, some major surgery or complete uh, rebuilds. So I wanted to have something ready to rock and roll. Um, in the meantime, for local, any of our class two or class three comps, something that is capable and ready to rock and roll and happens to look pretty decent as well. So when deciding what I wanted to build next, um, I wanted to do another hot rod style build. Now, if you remember one of my older videos, I did have a hot rod theme style build previously with an SSD Trail King. So wanted to kind of similar to that again. So started looking around what I had and I still had my VS410 Pro chassis um, that I previously had, but I'd stripped out the axles and the VFD and stuff. Well, luckily all those parts stayed local. So I was able to reacquire all those parts and then start putting the VS410 Pro back together. The chassis still had all the links and most of its major components. Um, I did dig around, see what I had. Uh, shocks right now, I just had some 90 millimeter Desert Lizard shocks set in the drawer. Um, they are not permanent on this vehicle. They will not stay on here. I am getting some new shocks order for it. But in the meantime, they serve their purpose. So we got the chassis, everything else back together, ready to rock and roll. So then it was time to get the body and all that situated and a few other upgrades that I wanted to do. So this cab is a um, SCX-10 based hot rod. It is available on Thingiverse and it has several uh, pieces with it. Um, there is a hot rod cab, it has the mounts, it has a roof, it actually has a bed um, part of it and I believe it also has an engine and a grill assembly. Well for this particular build I only need the cab assembly. I have plans or had plans for the rest of it there. So digging around through here I did still have a hot rod cab that I had had printed previously so it was still just sitting there wrapped up so it was good to go. Then I had my man Theron go ahead and reprint me um, some sliders, uh, some sliders slash body mounts and a roof. Now, one of the reasons I like this print and this file a lot is it is SCX10 based. So these mount sliders here, they attach to any SCX style um, bolt pattern there on your rail. So like your VS410, they would even fit the Element. They fit the Trail King. They fit a G-Speed V1C1. They even fit a V3. The angle may be off, but they do bolt up. And then the body just bolts body sets over top of it and they bolt in for the bottom so mounting easy secure and everything comes out really good nice clean flush and easy easy mounting system super super fan of that so the roof comes off and that's how i access uh inside there get my battery and everything else in there so um i need to get some brackets made for the steel a couple little 90s and i need to get some magnets ordered so i can just magnet the body on and off but for right now i have an excess of butyl tape uh, and butyl tape actually holds it on there extremely, extremely well. Um, and inside there, I do have just a simple interior. And this is just an interior from like a Tamiya, I believe it came with the holiday buggy. Uh, just simple, flat, little driver. That's all I need in here just to cover up the electronics and set on top of the battery. So I have a little magnet here and I did make one little bracket, but the magnet, the interior just slides in there, sets right on top of the magnet, plenty of room for the battery and everything else like that. Then moving up here, another 3D printed piece that I had done. This is a um, 3D printed engine assembly um, that is available also on Thingiverse. Now this is for the VS410 platform. It goes, sets right on top of the servos here in the front and then does have a cover that, that slides over, kind of snaps around the VFD transmission. So your scale placement, all that is pretty spot on. It is a bit excessive. It is a pretty good size motor here, but overall, I like it. I'm not even gonna lie, I like it. I think it fits the profile very well and it's pretty mean there. You're able to get it printed in several different pieces so you can add some paint. So Theron knocked that out the part for me and the rest of the pieces on here that I need printed up uh, to get the build underway. So for battery tray, I am using the stock VS410 battery tray, which is pretty wide. So obviously it's wider than this cab here. So I cut the sides down. I just measured where my body's gonna come over the battery tray and I just cut it just in just a little bit. So the body set comes over the battery tray and it's still there, not a half Velcro. So I just put like a stubby 2200 milliamp battery in there and I go crawl for a couple hours and have a blast. 
got the body and everything situated. And that was one reason when I remembered I had my VS410 chassis laying around, I was like, I need to reacquire all the rest of the pieces because one thing, key part was the VFD, how the VFD comes through nice centered and has that, and has the scale transmission style to it and goes perfectly with the 3D printed engine. It's going to help overall with the hot rod theme of everything. So all that I think came out really, really good. So next up there, once I got going, I was looking around, I did have some IERC bumpers um, in the drawer. So we use the IERC three bar bumper there on the front and then the IERC uh, single bar bumper there on the rear. Nice, quick, easy mount up. I already had them. And again, they fit the profile really, really well there. Uh, then I also got a few more things from my IERC. I went ahead and got the IERC adjustable shock towers, uh, front and rear. Um, one, I think just having the flat ones like this with the adjustability, um, again, fit the build overall better and look better than just having the plastic ones chilling back there and gives me more adjustability. So that's obviously a win there. Also, I got the um, BS410 shorty drop-in flatbed from IERC. Nice, thin metal uh, aluminum flatbed there, bolts right into factory spots, so no additional drilling or anything like that. And again, fit perfectly here with the cap. That width is spot on. And the way it sets on there, I don't know if I could have planned that any better um, if I wanted to. Overall, super happy with the way everything's came out there um, thus far. Got the cab and everything, all that fitted up. Then it was time to start thinking about some colors. Um, so a couple different colors were going through my mind on figuring out what color to paint it. But I ended up going with just a good old fashioned gloss black. One, I just like black vehicles and gloss black just, it fits so well. The overall build and just the way everything flows is really well. Plus with the black here, uh, it gives me the option to run different style wheels if I want to. If I want to run these ones, or if I want to run some orange wheels, if I want to run the crawlers, or if it's super muddy and I want to run my KLRMs, I run my KLRMs. Not a problem. My color, my wheel choices aren't going to clash with the rest of the body uh, for the most part. So that's good. So on here are my uh, custom Cerakoted uh, Vanquish Method 310s. Um, love these wheels. And again, they just fit really well. Normally they, are, they were on my comp bill for a long time, but... They're really, really just badass wheels. So I didn't feel like just always comp with them and scratch them up. So they're gonna go in here. Also on here are the J Concepts Honk Tire. Again, I really like this tire a lot and um, it's done really well. The two new J Concepts tires, the Tusks and the Honks. I'm just, everything about the tires, I'm liking their overall performance, their grip and stuff like that have been spot on for me personally. And for foams in here are some dual stage anti-foams from Three Builders RC and there as well hitting on point with this build and everything there. So um, electronics right now, just with what I've had laying around. Um, I didn't want to go super crazy uh, before nationals. They may need a little bit of time to recover. So I just went with what I had in the drawer. Um, I did go ahead and order Three Brothers RC Overlander winch uh, because I do want a winch on this build. And plus it just, it's going to look better because it has this gap here where the 3D printed engine is because it's supposed to set over both servos. So it's also there to fill the gap, but it's nice to have the winch on this as well. Um, also G14, I need to get ordered for it. They just came back in stock. So I'll probably get one of those ordered after nationals. And then deciding on my final motor ESC combo. Uh, I am kind of waiting for the Mamba Micro X2 to officially fully drop um, because I want to save space in here. There's not a whole lot of room underneath all that for electronics and battery and stuff. So for right now, I do have the Spectrum 2-in-1 ESC motor combo, the 2400 KV option. And honestly, that does work really well for my space savings. So that may just stay in there just for the simple fact that it saves me so much space in there. And it does really well. I like the motor a lot. Smooth, controllable, good stuff. I've had no issues with it thus far, and I've ran it in a couple different trucks. So well, overall, I think the builds came out really, really well. I'm super happy with it. And just the way everything, you know, weight placement, lower profile, um, body, everything is down low. The truck performs exceptionally, exceptionally well. Granted, it is a VS410 chassis, so it is a very, very solid chassis as far as your angles, your adjustment, everything there, quality parts, so all that already has that in its favor, but still performs exceptionally well. Super excited with it. We were having a little comp. I brought this with me as uh, Jake was bringing the VFD for this, so it wasn't ready yet. Everything was mostly there, so we got to air cap and started crawling. He got there, gave me the VFD. I just finished on my run. So I finished building the truck on the tailgate at air cap and then 
went and ran the truck for about an hour and a half, two hours, and had a great time. So, but it was worth it. So again, I will link in the description for the 3D printed parts that I used and, of course, the IERC stuff that I used uh, for the build as well. But overall, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. And as always, everyone, have a great one. Thanks for tuning in and crawl on.